Hey everyone, welcome back to lesson four of the skull staining series. Uh, today's episode is on sealing the skull after you have applied uh, the stain to the skull, what to do and what not to do. So let's jump into it. Um, if this is the first time you're joining me here, uh, this is part four of five videos. So the videos will be in the description of this video, the links to the other videos. And uh, my name is Hunter, I'm here in Virginia and uh, just putting on some videos on staining skulls, specifically carved skulls, but this does apply uh, just to other skull art in general. So let's go. Welcome to lesson four. We are at the last step of the process and that is sealing the skull. Now there are a few different options you have to seal a skull after you've carved it and stained it. The first option would be to simply use a clear coat, a spray on clear coat, to uh, create a protective barrier for that skull. Um, I use a UV protective clear coat, like I said before, and whether you want a glossy or matte finish is up to you. Now, I do recommend a spray on clear coat as opposed to a painting it on, using a brush to paint it on. Um, especially with penetrating stains, um, you can, the clear coat can mix with the stain and then that just messes up what you've already created. So use a spray on, that way it's hands off and it will just go on there nice and even. Your next option is to actually cover the skull in a coat of resin. I use Perloid B72. Uh, it comes, it's a pure resin. You mix it with acetone at, that um, melts the resin down to a solution. And then you simply soak the skull for a few seconds in the solution. It soaks all up into the bone and that creates a very, very nice protective coating on the skull. Um, that does as well um, protect the bone itself. A lot of people just use the Paraloid B72 as a hardening agent or a stabilizing agent for bone. So even if you were not dealing with uh, staining or carving at all, you could soak a skull in that um, resin and that just strengthens the bone. Another option is to simply brush on a very uh, thin layer of super glue, CA glue. You would want a very thin viscosity of the super glue to use and just paint it on either just the area that you've carved and stained or the entire skull. And the last option is to not actually use a coat at all. Um, I do believe it is beneficial to coat the skull with something, um, either UV protective uh, with colors that will help the colors maintain over time or just people handling the skull over time. Um, you know, the, the grease from your fingers gets into the bone, that weakens it, and just uh, a clear coat protects it, protects it uh, from elements, uh, from dust, stuff like that. But a clear coat really is up to you, so if you do not want to put a clear coat on at all, that is perfectly fine. Okie dokie folks, I do hope you learned a lot in this video and got some useful information out of it. Do remember you can see all the videos at once, via the link in the description of this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow, tomorrow for part five.